Hey guys, welcome to a Tech Guru video. Today I have a short tutorial in Adobe InDesign CS5. Today's tutorial is going to do is going to show you the very basics of working with different pages in InDesign. So let's say we have an InDesign project. And in my case, I have a lot of sports programs that I do and different things such as that. And they have different pages, obviously. Some of them go up to 100 and over that, how many pages are in them. So when I start out my document, the first thing that I want to do is I want to, in my new document right here, when I go to uh, InDesign, when it opens and I go to Document, and this comes up, it says right here, number of pages, okay? I may not know at the time, uh, so I, I may go ahead and put in here, let's go ahead and just start with 25, okay? Actually, no, I'm sorry, that's not where you want to put that. Number of pages, 25 right here. So you want their, the pages facing, so that means it'll be like if you're reading a magazine, so you want that. And a master text frame, what that is, is you create a text frame, and that master frame will be on all of your pages. This is very useful and I use this a lot in a lot of my projects, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to get into that now. So we go to OK. Now once I create my document, the first page, the way InDesign always does it, is the first page will show up. Now if I scroll down, OK, right here, let me zoom out a little bit, right here, I, OK, I'm going the wrong way there. There we go. I'm going to zoom out a little more. There we go. As you can see, there's one page up top, and there's two pages here. You go down, there's two pages. You go down, there's two pages. So that's the way InDesign lays it out. Now, let's say you need to work with your pages. There is a window that allows you to do that, okay? And in order to view that, you go to Window, Pages or Command F12, whatever you want to do. So Window, Pages. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to bring that panel right over here. And I'm actually going to make it a little bigger to, to make it a little easier to learn. Okay, so look what we have here. We have a few options, okay? So let's say I want to delete a page. That's the first thing I want to do. I click on Pages 25. And that's the one I want to delete. This is like anything else in InDesign. You go over here to the trash can, delete selected pages right here at the bottom right hand corner. Click it. Boom. 25 is gone. Okay. Now, let's say I want to create a new page. This is very easy as well. Right here by the trash can in the middle, right here in the bottom right hand corner, create new page. Make sure you are selecting right where you want that page to go. Because if I don't select it, it's going to go up here and I'm going to have a three-page layout. That's not what I want. So I'm going to click on 24, create new page. Boom, it put it right by 25, okay? The same way with deleting them. you got to highlight the one you want to delete right here in the Pages panel and delete it. Now, here is another option that we have. This right here is what we call the A Master. What the A Master is, is this is what... All of our pages are going to follow as far as the template, the size, what's on them, and whatnot. So, let's say I want to go in and I want to change the size of my pages. What do I do? Well, what you will do is you will select your A master right here, which is all of your pages. Okay, that's what all of them will look like, all of them will, will show up as. And once you do that, you go to this little edit page size down here. So you click on that, and you can change it to legal. You can change it to tabloid, letter half, legal half. And you can go down here, and you can change it to anything you want. And you can go to a custom page size if you would like, and you could type it in here. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to confuse everybody. So that's how you change the size of this page. And you can actually go in here and individually change the size. So you say, I don't know why you would need to do this, but you could control, click, and right here, you can change the size too. But this is what else I want to show you. Once you control click on a page, you can either insert a page where you clicked. You can move pages, duplicate them. You can delete a page. You can rotate the spread view, which is you can rotate how it's going to be viewed by the, the person who's going to be viewing it. Uh, the color label, you can actually label a, a page a different color so that way you know what it is. So you may say all of the yellow pages need work. All of the blue pages are already done. 
Uh, and if, if you've done some editing and you want to apply the master to all the pages, then you just click that right there. And you can override all of the master page items, okay? Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you is right down here at the bottom. Let me show you how to get to it again. You control click, okay? Hang on a second. You control click on the page, numbering and section options. Click on that. When you click on that, this box right here will come up. Now this is very crucial. If you're doing a magazine spread or you're doing a program for a sports program or you're doing anything, most of the time you're going to need numbers, okay? So right here it says start section, automatic page numbering, and you want to start the page numbering at 1. Let's say you don't want a page number on 1, then you can start it at 2. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to start it at 1 because it's very easily, okay? Now, the page numbering can be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, A, B, C, D, but I'm going to leave it at 1, 2, 3, 4. You can change that in the style section right here. Now, document chapter numbering. This is if you're doing a book and you want different numbers to separate your chapter. So that's a different thing. If you want that, you can go ahead and go in here and you can edit that yourself. But we're not doing a book right now. So once I do that, I have all my numbers selected. I want to go to OK. A page number in this section already exists in another section. Duplicate page numbers can create confusion. To avoid the problem, OK, so I'm going to go to OK here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send this right here to the trash and I'm going to show you exactly the best way to do that. So we got number and section options, okay? So we do that right there. Now you can see here, you see here how it's listed right here? Page 1 of 2, 2, 3, page 4, page 5. And you may be asking yourself, well, why isn't it showing up here? It will show up here when it's printing, okay? It will show up here when it's printing, okay? So you can go up here. Uh, and I'm not going to show this to you now, but you can actually view this. Uh, you can view it in a, a, a view of which you can see what it's doing, okay? So now, we have named and numbered our pages, and we know how to apply the master. We know how to delete them. We know how to create a new page, and we know how to number them. So make sure when you want to deal with pages in InDesign, you look at your master, you know what it's going to be, and you're able to number them and keep them in order so you're never confused as to which page comes where. And as I said before, if you need to insert a page somewhere, just click on the page you want it to come after and click create a new page. And there, it'll create a new page. So guys, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. This has been another Tech Guru video. I'll see you next time.